Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming to do an unboxing for April 2023 for the scrap room. So I'm going to be showing you guys the double shot kits, the flavors of the month kits, the pattern paper kit, embellishment kit, and what else am I, what am I missing? Shots of life kit. The only thing I'm not going to be showing you is a pattern paper kit and the card kit. So let's get right into the double shot kits. Guys, we have such a line up for you guys this month. I, I think you're going to be so excited. So our first double shot kit, it is from Echo Park Life is Beautiful Collection. So with the double shot kits, you'll be getting two different tastings of collections. I don't know if that's the way the scrap room refers to it, but that's the way I refer to it. Um, two different collections with some cardstock and a little bit of embellishment. So let's just jump right in. And we're gonna start with the cardstock. So we have two pieces of a white cardstock. They are textured, very nice. It's a very nice texture. And then we have one piece of a green cardstock. It is called Desert Cactus, which is a really good name for it. There you go. It's to me, it's a deep celery green. So Desert Cactus works perfectly. So then our first piece of pattern paper, oh, this is pretty. I mean, it's called Life is Beautiful. This is Life of Plaid. So it's definitely a pink, right? But it's starting to hedge into the color I would call like a melon pink. It's very, very nice with little white X's and they totally are repeating. So you can use this design so nicely. And then the backside is an absolutely gorgeous plaid. Totally reminds me of a 1982 preppy vibe is going on here. And then this piece, it is called Life in Full Bloom. Really nice mid-tone blue. Slightly a, like a touch of gray into the blue with little wonky polka dots. Kind of haz haphazardly here and there. And then our flip side, ooh, this is cool. So we've got this really great floral. There's quite an amount of white in between most of the flowers. So you can actually go ahead and fussy cut this out if you would like. Like some of them touch, but you can totally work around that. Very, very pretty piece of paper. I love, 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 love florals. And then this piece is called Beautiful Butterflies. So it's like a repeating pattern, kind of looks like really nice European tile with little pink dots in between them or in the centers of those kind of tile looking bits. And this side, uh, first of all, I love green. So this is making this a little bit tough for me. These butterflies are asking me, legit, please sit down and spend two days going ahead fussy cutting them because we wanna fly across your page. That's that's kind of what the butterflies and I are doing right now. Great. Okay, so then, then your um, embellishments is you get two of the sticker sheets and they're going to vary. So these are the ones I got. They're clearly torn out of a sticker book. So I cannot wait to see what other people get. That's why I love the different unboxings for the scrap room because we, you know, we'll get different parts of, you know, the same whole, if that makes sense. So my piece to start, I've got this really nice journaling spot. Here's another journaling spot, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, so let's pop it out a little bit. It is cut, like, with this gorgeous little design on it. I've got cute little flying bumblebee, a stack of teacups, the cutest little card, a cute little button, an adorable little banner bit. The grass always looks greener on the other side, tiptoe through the tulips. Gorgeous little floral cart. Sweet, happy, excellent, and a little floral bit right there. So total score on that set of stickers. And the thing is, these stickers with this company in these sticker books, like they're like cardstock stickers. They're not those super thin ones that just tear instantly. And the other piece that I received, and I probably couldn't be happier, is kind of this navy set of alphas. And let's see, one, two, three, I have three R's, one, two, three, four E's. So I can definitely get some good words out of them. Awesome. 
I will also be getting um, a fifth of a pack of the ephemera as well as some enamel dots. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go like this so we can see some of that ephemera. First of all, these are the enamel dots that I received. And mine are like in that deep, like a deep melon color, really. Very, very pretty. And then let's see, I've got, for my ephemera, I've got the word smile, so sweet. To me, flowers are happiness. You could totally like use that phrase, of course, but you could totally use these two little bits and cut them out and you have really great ephemera. Anywho, where flowers bloom, so does hope. Nice little banner piece. Don't let the weeds cast a shadow on the beautiful flowers in your garden. Which, you know what would be so cute? And guys, I know it's already cut out. Okay, I gotta stop designing. But you can cut each of those word bits out and have them going on word strips down and then you have a die cut as well. Although, of course, I like the oval. I'm gonna stop designing and just show you the good good. Okay, it's a good day to have a good day and this is a pop out cute little Frame. So that is my first double shot kit. Let me go ahead and pop it to the side and I will show you the next one. So the next one, oh my goodness, is this ever beautiful, guys. It's from Simple Stories and it's from Wildflower Collection. So let's see what we have. Let's start with the cardstock. I've got two pieces of basil cardstock in natural, and it's very, very smooth. Very nice. And then I have one piece of basil cardstock again, and this is in jet stream. So very nice sky blue tone. I have got this piece right here. It is called Breathe Deep, and it looks kind of like it's a fabric, but it's not. So, you know, like it has, you know, like this kind of a mustard butterscotch background, but it's definitely variegated, very cool. With sweet little white flowers with tiny little pink centers. Oh, wow. And then the back side, it's this absolutely gorgeous floral print. Gorgeous, vintage, beautiful. Oh, it reminds me of these gorgeous curtains I know that somebody has. Really pretty birdies that are subtle in the background. Super gorgeous piece of paper. Next, the next piece of paper, this is called Love Greatly. So if you see here, like it's darker around the corners and lighter in the middle. And we have like blue lines through it. Totally can go this way, guys. If you had, with. I know I said I wasn't going to design, but wouldn't this be really great if you have a picture of like your great grandmother when she was in the schoolhouse? Because it totally looks like that writing paper to me, even though I think it's supposed to look like that. Anywho, done designing. Oh my gosh, guys, look at, look at all of the little mothy bits. And then there's sprigs. Super gorgeous. I, I think they're moths. I don't know. I know there's a way to know the difference between a moth and a butterfly, but I just... Haven't spent the time. Stunning piece of paper. And then finally, this one is called Complete Bliss. It's one of the most gorgeous pieces of paper that I have seen all spring. These beautiful, huge floral blooms. Stunning. And then the backside reads as a tone on tone. We've got like this, this nostalgic, vintage pink background. Once again, it is shadowed along all of the edges and lighter in the middle with kind of like the like lighter pink little blooms. Super pretty. Now for our embellishments, I'm going to bring this lighter color right on top so we can see this natural color. And let's see, we will get one of the Simple Stories frames. So let's see, mine, like I can do two photos in it. It's very pretty. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but this is definitely like a sagey green with a vanilla color. Like this color right here of the florals matches the natural color perfectly. I will also be getting a sixth of a pack of the foam stickers. So I received the word bloom and wild and free, love, life is beautiful, this beautiful little floral and a heart. 
very cute. And then finally, I receive a quarter of a pack of the ephemera and they will vary. So three other people have the rest of this pack and I cannot wait to see what we have. Oh, I've got an Anne's ampersand, an Anne sign, you know, an ampersand in gray. Let's see. Oh, there's a days of the week here in a really nice, like, kind of ecru color. Oh, a one and a three. Interesting. A leafy bit. That's kind of a natural color. The word four. Oh, I've got a nice little directional arrow bit in a green. A gorgeous, gorgeous floral on mustard. Oh, guys, look at that blue in this collection. <gasps> I need more of this collection now. The number two, how pretty is that? Could it be like too wild and free or too love? I can have fun with that title. I have got a bow. Ooh, a really cute pennant. And these are all in mustard shades and it reads, hello. Best day. And it's a great little spot to put like, if you have like little enamel dots or something on the side, very cute. We have got a circular bit right there with some florals. Ooh, I have a number six or a number nine, depending on how you put that. One of those little buggy bits that I couldn't tell if it's a moth or a butterfly. I'm good either way. And a gorgeous floral. So those are my double shot kits. And now let me clean all of this up and I'm going to go ahead and get my first flavors of the month kit out. So our very first flavors of the month kit, it's from Cardabella and it is here, there, and everywhere. So let's jump right in. Now flavors of the month kits, they work a little differently than the double shot kit. So you're still getting a tasting of supplies, right? But they're the pattern paper kit, the embellishment kit, the shots of life kit, the cardstock add-on kit, they all match. So you can really beef up each of these kits. So I try to show you what I do, which is I get the kit and I must, I, I must have the flavor of the month kits and you know, the kits that I order as well as the double shot kits because I get to try out all of these new collections. So this is, like I was saying, a great way to try all kinds of new things and just go for it. Okay, enough rambling. Let's see the goodies. All right, so I have two pieces of a white textured cardstock. Very nice. And yep, two pieces of white textured. Great. Then let's see our first piece of paper. It's called Bunches of Beauty. So nice sagey green with a repeating design. It's making me think floral, but it kind of looks like plus signs too. And it's all connected. You can do a great diagonal design. You can have it go across. It's super easy to design with. And then, oh, but look at, see what they did. They put a piece of paper that's gorgeous on the back that you really wanna use as well as an exquisite floral on the front. My favorites are these kind of watercolor designs. Absolutely gorgeous. We've got that Carta Bella texture. Oh, it is gorgeous. There is white space in between all of the clusters. You can fussy cut, detail cut, the way, what, however you like to phrase it, them out if you want. Gorgeous piece of paper. And I love that we're getting that violet purple color in. Super love that. Now this piece here, it is called Fresh Daisies. So really nice sunflower yellow with wonky dots here and there. Like, you know, they're haphazard. They're not all in a row. And then the flip side, it's like, oh my, corn flower blue background, which I love. White daisies with little tiny dots in the center. Absolutely beautiful piece of paper. I'm doing this not because this is my favorite side, but I think you can see it better. Um, and then the last piece of paper that we have here, it's called Making Memories. Gorgeous petal pink, tone on tone, wonky grid. How fun is that? That is not just like straight and even. Very cool. And then the back side. It's this gorgeous watercolor kind of artwork again, but little cameras. And all I see are tons of gorgeous embellishments to cut out. Like I love papers that I can fussy cut. I love, 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 love that. Okay. Enough about me carrying on. The embellishment that comes with this Flavors of the Month kit is this 12 by 12 sticker sheet. 
and you get so much on these sticker sheets. We've got banners in two different places. We have got the, this big, nice border sticker, word bits, the cutest little vehicles. I mean, come on, look at that. It's like a um, indigo color, like VW bus. It's hilarious. We've got butterfly buggy bits. We've got these cameras that you see right here, this adorable frame, more words, macarons, like in beautiful colors. Makes me want to get the pack that's at Costco. Oh, a Polaroid camera, which is fun. This really cute typewriter. Guys, look at this little bee. Look at the little bee. Like he even has the touches, like it looks like his little feeler things, his little antennas are like melon pink. That's just stinking cute. And we've got a record player with a music playing and a cute little record with florals. So super cute, super well done. Oh guys, look, this looks like a Polaroid. <gasps> cute. So we've got a regular camera and a Polaroid. So cute. Oh guys, and little blueberries. Oh, and here's more of these little bees. So I have to sneeze guys. I have to sneeze, it's gonna happen. We've got the word friend right here. I like when they have like little tiny spaces if they give us something. And that looks like what they did there. You get like a little goodie. And you know, they, they tucked little leafy bits so you don't have any wasted space on this sticker sheet. Little floral bits, cute little blueberries, so cute. So that is a flavors of the month kit. If you get the pattern paper kit, you would get these two pieces of paper. You would get... This piece here that is called Sweet Sprigs, so definitely a tone-on-tone -tone coral. Very nice color. Oh, and then this is, it's on a total white core. Tons of cute little flowers. Tons and tons of spring blooms. Super cute. And then this is called Bright Floral. So this is peachy color. Same kind of dots as you see on the yellow here. They're just kind of wonky and they're not perfectly circled. It's it's like spring in Michigan. You think you have the pretty spring and you get snow. And then, oh, and this side, it's on a pretty dark black and we've got these gorgeous watercolor florals. Oh, that's so cool, guys. So, I mean, that totally matches these over here, but on the black, I think that's going to be really interesting when we cut that out. Super cool. So that's the pattern paper kit. If you get the Shots of Life kit, you would get this piece of paper here. It's called three by four journaling cards. So Shots of Life always have like cut apart journaling cards on one side. I think it's kind of awesome. So if you are a pocket scrapbooker, they're good to go. Really great for traveler's notebooks. I tend to use so many of the pieces as like cut aparts in my scrapbooking or I use elements for die cuts. We're going to get into that. I'll flip it over in like three years. Obviously, I'm just talking. Um, let's see. So we've got kind of an interesting pattern that is repeating with these florals. Like it's, it's like these rounded off patterns. It's on a really nice sage green. Now our flip side. Okay, people, this is what we're talking about. So Pocket scrapbooking, absolutely perfect. I mean, it's a Shots of Life kit, right? So you have all of those great bits. All of these cards are three by four. I'm looking at this and I am seeing so many embellishments to play with. I'm gonna be cutting these out. I'm gonna cut that cute little VW out, this bicycle, this great little piece here, that beautiful VW little van. My grandfather had one in green. You know, the whole thing popped up here. Super cool. Look at the blueberry card. That is gorgeous. We've got this piece here that's so pretty. So guys, totally useful. Even if you are not a pocket scrapbooker, you need to get the Shots of Life kit because I think it just adds to your kit so much. And then the embellishments in the Shots of Life kit is this set of enamel dots. And I want to make sure I say this the correct way. So you get half of a pack of the Cartabella enamel dots. So the cool thing is it looks like they just snipped it right here and you have plenty of dots in all of the colors. You scored all of the colors. Super cool. And then finally, the embellishment kit that you are in the, from the embellishment kit, we are going to get, 
hold on, I'm looking for my cheat sheet here. You will be getting a half of a pack of the ephemera. So I'm gonna try to pull them out and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a piece of my white cardstock. And we'll look at what half of a pack of the ephemera looks like. So that means that the owner of the kit club, I got half, somebody else got half. And that's cool. It makes it way more fun for me to snoop to see what, you know, what else, what the other half looks like. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, cute little macarons on this tag. Oh, a little cute macaron in pink. Adventure awaits on a nice peachy tone. That little typewriter, you're just my type. How cute. And it's on like a tomato soup red. We've got this cute little fishtail banner. It reads for you, these little flowers. Where words fail, music, music speaks. And that is pretty awesome. Hello, in a great font. Magic moments. Our story in that nice mustard yellow. Capturing the best moments. Look at the artwork, guys. We have got this cute little pop-out frame bit. It reads, be free with a cute little buggy in the center. Life is good. Another frame with a pop-out. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I mean, lemons and blueberries. Who knew that blueberries were that cute? I don't know. Today on a cornflower blue background with indigo leafy bits and hello in a dramatic black. So how cool is that? So that's the embellishment kit. We've got our shots of life kit, our pattern paper kit and flavors of the month kit. All right, I'm gonna put this all away and I'll grab my next All right, one. so our second flavors of the month kit, it is Paige Evans Blooming Wild and I was so hoping we would get these in our kits. I'm ex Excited, excited, excited. Okay, so let's get right into it with the cardstock. I have got, let's see, two sheets of white cardstock and they are textured, which is fab. Then I've got paper number 10. So Paige Evans goes, when, when she does her paper lines, they are numbered, they are not named. So paper number 10 has the most beautiful color palette, very rainbow driven. We go from pink to red to yellow, green, blue, indigo, etc. So absolutely gorgeous piece. I can think of about a thousand things I want to do with this piece of paper. And I want the entire collection. Okay, enough said. Oh, and the flip side. So we've got a really nice branding strip. And the flip side is all kinds of itty bitty little flowers. And they go from yellow, orange, going into peach, pink, and then back. What a gorgeous piece of paper. So pretty. So that's the first one. Our second piece of paper. Oh my goodness. This one, it's paper number 24. And we have got an explosion of blooms. They are absolutely stunning. Love the feel. Love the weight of the paper. Love the feel. Love everything. Yes. Just, just yes. That's all, that's all we're gonna say with that. And the flip side, there's our branding strip. Our flip side, it's a really great aqua plaid. Yeah, you need, you need the whole collection. Okay, and then for paper number six, it is on this great white core and they're the most beautiful, happy little rainbows. There's stitching lines through them and florals and happiness. Guys, it's my color palette. It's just this, this, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the flip side, it's a gorgeous lilac with the sweetest little tiny florals. Just going, do, 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 do. So cute. And we have our branding strip there. Now, for our embellishments that we get with this one, is we get a sixth of a pack of the ephemera. So let me gather mine up because we've got lots of different kind of cool things this time. All right, I'm gonna grab that white cardstock. I'm gonna nudge Blue, who is having a nap beneath me. All right, so we have a sixth of a pack, right? Which means that five other people have the rest of my pack. I'm hoping I explain that the right way. I hope I do, I don't know. Okay, so I've got this sweet little floral with that nice indigo center. Got this piece, this is cute. 
it looks like it's like a little patchwork of a journaling spot and it's a really nice size whoops really nice size piece i've got you are the best and we've got a cute little rainbow fishtail banners on both sides a nice big heart and it's I mean, it's, it's beautiful artwork, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can see like French knots in the center of all of those little bits that may be happening. Hello there, cutie. And guys, look at it. It's like silver holographic. Very cool. And oh, I've got a little birdie house that wants to be a shaker pocket when it shows up. Oh my God. Or when it grows up, how cute. And then a sweet little butterfly very cute now let's see the next thing that we get is we get three caps and when I was watching Paige Evans do her unboxing she said that these were like pogs from um back in the day depends on how old you are if you know what I mean I've got one that reads adorable I've got one with the prettiest bumblebee on the planet and then one that looks like a giant button can you yeah. And then I've got some puffy phrases and they will vary. So I have the word amazing. I have magical, these three sweet florals and three hearts. So I am incredible. I was feeling they're like the soft, soft puffies. You know, sometimes the puffies are kind of like plasticky, like shiny. These are that really nice kind of soft one. It play with them and squish them kind of puffies. Okay, that is a Flavors of the Month kit. If you get the pattern paper kit, you will get paper number 22. And this paper is incredibly usable. You can do a whole mini album with this one piece of paper as your embellishments. So all different sizes, as you see, like, guys, I'm gonna hold it up just a little bit because it's like we need a moment of quiet in silence to totally enjoy it. You know, with the dog snoring in the background. Uh, we've got florals, the sweetest little birdies. They kind of remind me of Vicki Booten's birdies that got embroidered. We have got these great floral pieces here, that beautiful bumblebee, I just can't. This rainbow right here, the gorgeous globe, guys. And then there's wordy bits. Hello, thank you so much. Hugs and kisses, lovely day, smile. So super, super versatile. I love this hello there, cutie. And I think it is. It's kind of like at a wonky tilt too. How cute is that? Okay, now the flip side, holy moly. See, this is what they do so that you need two. And then the flip side, it's like this kaleidoscope, gorgeous pattern of all of the colors in this collection. Absolutely gorgeous piece. Okay. And then paper number five, it's called Blooming Wild. So really happy, bright green, tone on tone with sweet little white flowers in the centers with little yellow centers of them or sweet little white petals, I should say, with yellow centers. Super cute. Oh, and then the back side, it's like a wonky graph with like the best colors. Like if you were in school and this was your graph paper, you would have been really happy. Totally would have. So that's our pattern paper kit. If you get the Shots of Life kit, of course, like I said, you always get a cut apart. We have a bonus cut apart right there. And this is paper number one in the collection. So different sizes, right? We've got lots of three by fours and there are tags in here. There are little arrow pieces in here. Look at, there's like zigzag and a row of hearts or that could be a ton of little embellishments if you wanna cut them out and cute little buttons. And let's see, young at heart, stop and smell the flowers, a good life, happiness and laughter. We've got a really great journaling spot here, a gorgeous floral piece here that wants me to cut it out. This gorgeous heart. I love you with all my heart. So guys, the artwork, I just, I just mm, impressed. So that is the paper for the Shots of Life kit. And this is the embellishment for the Shots of Life kit. You get a half of the sticker sheet. So this is on kind of like a vanilla color 
we have got that silver holographic, like we had my one piece over here, but I've got a lot of it on here. We've got rainbows and florals, like even right in here, the floral centers are doing that like little holographic vibe. I've got wordy bits down here. Guys, I want to see what the other side of the sheet looks like. Little button pieces, which are the cutest, like hello. Little florals with different colored dots in the center. Like there's even like, it looks like little stitch lines right there. So super well thought out. That's the Shots of Life kit. And then in the embellishment kit, if you get that, let me flip my cheat sheet over, you will get a half of a pack of the frames. So these are the ones that I got. And I love them because you get one, two, and then a cute little piece in the center. So I've got a blue, a deep, kind of like indigo-y purple with a little heart in the center. Then I've got two circular elements with a, I mean, this is like, okay, it looks like frame, frame, embellishment, but they're all chipboard. So frame, frame, embellishment. So a floral bit, and then this one right here has a gorgeous little rainbow. I mean, stop it. Okay, guys, I, I love Paige Evans products. Just in case you didn't pick up on that. Okay, let me put this away and I'll bring back the next flavors. Of so the kit. next flavors of the month kit, it is by Photo Play and it is called Family Fun Night. Super cute, super bright, lots of like primary and secondary colors. So I'm excited to use this. I actually took pictures of Ryan, Jeffrey and Ryan and Jeffrey and myself, but you know, I'm not on the pictures, playing Bulldogopoly. So totally preemptively and I didn't know we were getting this. Okay, so first two papers, we have two sheets of Sapphire cardstock and it is textured. Very nice, very vibrant shades of blue. Then this piece right here, it is called Your Turn. So we've got graph paper on the background, bright white core, and then all kinds of icons that go towards family game nights or family fun nights, I should say. So we have got the twister pieces, we've got Scrabble, we've got perhaps that's Yahtzee. We have got these little bits here that look like Monopoly to me and dominoes, all of the things, checker pieces, all kinds of fun stuff. Some puzzles are going on there, so super fun. Ooh, and the back side, ooh, it's tone on tone, super bright limey green. I love lime green. Super, super cute. Love that. I actually know somebody with, um, he has a bunch of tattoos to represent his son with like the puzzle pieces going just like that. Kind of an interesting idea for that piece of paper. Anywho, this piece right here, oh, this one was called Your Turn. This piece right here is called Roll the Dice. So we've got all of these gorgeous pieces or colors that are in the collection. And we've got stripes and they're, they're different size stripes. So that's super fun. And then this side is like all kinds of dice for all kinds of games. And we've got that really nice, strong indigo color in the background and all of the dice are bright white. Very cool. And then the last piece of paper in the Flavors of the Month kit, this is called Movie Night. Clearly it is a nice crayon red on the background, kind of going into a cherry red with popcorn pieces. Super cute. Ooh, this is cool. And then the backside is film strips. <gasps> I really like this. This brings like, like a layer of versatility into the kit, like this and this together, <gasps> like that. Very much like that. Okay, and then we are going to get a half of a pack of the ephemera. So let's see, what's my plain piece? I guess this sapphire cardstock. Let's see what we have. I've got this piece here. If you're not prepared to lose every friend you have ever had over a board game, you're not playing hard enough. Don't make me use my bingo voice. Family fun. Friends with this cute little tab. We have let's have fun. Ooh, that looks like Monopoly. That'll work for those Bulldogopoly photos I have. Oh guys, it was escaping. I've got a little frame and the piece that was in the frame, it's this twister little board piece. 
this pops out like it's all scalloped and cute. And then this reads game on. We've got some red dice on black. There's a punch out right there. And this, these two do, these are all punch outs. I'm, what I mean is there's a little spot right there to make it into a tag. And then we've got two circles. We've got the puzzle pieces and movie night with the like director's cut thingy. <laughs> and popcorn, our favorite game. And then I've got family up here on a tab and then let the good times roll with dice and like a Yahtzee cup. And in this house, we are board gamers. There you go. So we have that. Now, if you get the pattern paper kit, you will get these two pieces. This one is called Sorry Not Sorry with all of these sorry pieces. It is a white background with all of the cute little pieces going every which way. Oh, wow. And then the back side has so many games. That looks like shoots and ladders. We've got chess. We've got Monopoly. I see bingo. A cute little puzzle. My friend Brie likes puzzles. Oh, I have got pictures of us playing with a giant Connect Four. Oh, Chinese checkers. My favorite game as a kid. We've got Uno. I have pictures of the kids playing Uno. There's backgammon. So chances are something in here will work for you. And then this piece here, it is called Building Blocks. So if you've got people doing Lego fun, this one is for you. Super cute. And then this looks like the board piece where you put the Legos. So hoping that you can get that on camera. Super, super cute. Love that. And guys, that is like a daffodil yellow. Like there is a strong amount of pigment there. So that's a pattern paper kit. If you get the Shots of Life kit, you would get this piece here. It's called Game Rules. So once again, they're always like some kind of a cut apart sheet. Family Fun Night, Jigsaw Puzzle Addict, Movie Night, Let's Party, Sorry Not Sorry. Here's a bunch of those board games. Birthday Party, Fave Games, Let's Have a Sleepover. Nobody ever reads the rules for a board game unless a fight breaks out. That is wisdom right there. And then, ooh, the backside, it's a really good diagonal kind of a plaid, which this is one of those great papers, my favorite to use to mat a layout. Like, look at how cute that looks in like two seconds. So that is the Shots of Life paper and the embellishment that you get with it because um, PhotoPlay does not have as many embellishments as maybe some other collections. Our fearless leader went ahead and got us these little goodies. Let me see. They are the, hold on. I'm trying to see how the, a six of a pack of Simple Stories Color Vibes chipboard, and they're going to vary. Now mine are, I mean, like a coral. I think coral is a very, very best way to put you get a lot in here. There are tags and stars. I've got an arrow, little frame pieces. Guys, you get a lot. So you get tons and tons of these cute little bits. And these are for the embellishment for the Shots of Life kit. You know what I'm gonna do? And I normally don't do this. There's so many. I'm just gonna go ahead and let them go all back into their home. And then the embellishment kit, if you get that, you get the full 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Guys, I know I carry on about these, but you get so much out of these sticker sheets. And you can pop them up on a little bit of foam and it becomes kind of like a chipboard piece or a dimensional piece. I love it. Okay, so we've got our sorry kind of border strip down here. We've got movie, game night, the word fun, good times. Guys, do you guys do that? Like where you put in like the word game night on into, you know, like you Google like Scrabble or whatnot, and it can give you new words for your letters. I do that all the time. Anyhow, we've got good times. We've got a spinner here, Yahtzee things. We've got this piece for Twister. Guys, I don't know what game this is, but I feel like I've played it. 
bingo put on your game face and then we've got wordy bits will you be my player two you're on a roll champion team one team two you got game sleepover party all of the things phew that is a really nice bright saturated fun collection of goodies so give me a second i'm going to come back with our next right, guys so our last Flavors of the Month Kit, it is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. And it is stunning, absolutely amazing color palette. Like the colors I need in my life. So let's get into this. We have two sheets of cardstock, because there's always two sheets of cardstock in the Flavor of the Month Kits. And they are, let me find my, did, oh, they're just called black cardstock and they are textured. Very nice. Then we have got this piece. It's the three by four elements. So we've got a really gorgeous diagonal stripe with tons of patterns. There's book text in a bunch of them. We've got florals. We have got polka dots. It's so pretty. So incredibly pretty. And then the three by four elements are... I mean, the artwork, guys. So we've got this gorgeous camera. Take the photo. We've got butterflies. An amazing frame here. Beautiful you. So stacked up ephemera. We've got these postage stamps here. Whole bunch of tickets. Really great titles here and now. Celebrate every day. We've got true beauty for a frame. I mean, absolutely lovely, lovely artwork. The next piece we have, this one is called Happy Memories. So great camera, kind of, it's it's like these papers have all of this um, layering done for you. And I think it's pretty cool. So we've got this gorgeous camera on top of florals with leafy bits and even a little bit of film frame here. Or like it looks like a negative. Um, negative stuff here, it looks like, like there's metal and then frames coming out. So super gorgeous piece of paper. It's, it's, ugh, I want to do all of the things with it. But then the flip side happens to be a background, which is my very favorite color. It's this gorgeous aqua with these florals and they look distressed and, and aged and amazing. And if you look like there's book text in the background, there's like distressing in the background. So super gorgeous artwork. And then the last piece of paper in the Flavors of the Month kit, it is called Beautiful Things. So we've got a black background, but it's also a grid or a graph paper. And there's like advertisement in the background. Like you can see it's fab. So anyway, there's text and all that kind of stuff. It's gorgeous. But then we've got this gorgeous like they look like cabbage roses or perhaps peonies. I mean, my peonies look like that, but they're just not that gorgeous purple color. No, I want them. We have got florals that are blown out and leafy bits. Oh, and the flip side, it's a gorgeous petal pink. We've got distressing on the edges with text here as well. And then this little bit in the little corner, it looks like washi tape and a little floral and a couple of staples. Like what a cute little touch cute okay then for embellishments i have let's see one chipboard frame and they will vary so this is mine i've got a double oval which are super pretty and we've got some butterflies how cute so very dramatic piece i can't wait to see what i get to do with that or for the flavors of the month kit for simple stories life in bloom and some foam stickers which will vary is the way it's phrased. So I've got the word life is a journey. Oh, life is a journey is already a great title. Caps lock, a little ampersand and a sweet little buggy bit. And it is on white foam, which is gorgeous dimension and even a little bit of squish. And I've got a mixture of the bits and pieces and journal bits, which will of course vary. So let me take out this black and I will show you what I have. I've got a set of two tickets. So pretty with the blue and the green and there's writing and distressing and it, there, it's very thoughtful artwork. The word amazing, a 
I've got a leafy bit, a little butterfly. So pretty, all layered up. I love the pop of orange. Another sweet little butterfly. These, what are those? Are they crocuses? They look like crocuses to me. Another little leafy bit and this gorgeous pink floral. I mean, I love it so much because like you see like orange paint splatters in there and you see text. It's really, really well done. Okay, if you get the pattern paper kit, you will also get this piece here, which I'm smitten with. It is called Shine Bright. So we've got artwork, of course, in the background as always. So there's watercoloring in the background as well as book text. But you also have these watercolored butterflies that are just like the most beautiful thing I think I've seen like in such a long time. I'm so smitten with these saturated pastel -y kind of spring colors that I'm thrilled. Okay, enough. Uh, we've got like graph paper kind of vibe through some of them. Super pretty. Ooh, in the back side, it's like absolutely gorgeous aqua. It's old school typewriter keys with some like little splatters of that orchid color and even some really cool, like you can start seeing some swirly little artwork in some of these corners. So super cool piece of paper. And then the other piece of paper, it is called journal elements. So this side, it is black with all of these polka dots from different, you know, the different colors in the collection. Florals are like separated out so you can clearly detail cut them out, fussy cut them out, whatever. But you also can do things on a diagonal, which makes it very interesting. Now our flip side, like it's the journal elements like I talked about. We've got this gorgeous calendar piece. Oh, look at this piece here with all of these butterflies. This here, it's like stapled together tickets. Same thing here. So really like such a versatile piece of paper. You can go really far playing with this. I, I have some ideas. I'm, I'm doing the ideas right now. Okay, so then if you get the, what next? The Shots of Life kit, you will get this piece right here. It is called four by six elements. Great, so they're four by six, cut, cut, cut. So we've got this gorgeous frame that reads beautiful memories. This piece here with this great little banner piece with the pink in the background. Life in Bloom, and we have got like tickets and artwork with the florals and the butterflies. Oh, the film strips with the butterflies or moths or whatever those buggies are. Live Your Best Life, it's a frame with florals, a big old camera, and the word smile on like typewriter keys type of a vibe. Very pretty. And let's see. Oh, and the embellishment for the Shots of Life kit, it is this set of enamel dots. Let's see, Simple Stories, do, do, do. So it's a half of a pack and they are glittery. Look at, can you see the glitter in them? So they're like that extra pizzazzy, pretty, pretty good stuff. So then if you get the embellishment kit, phew, you would get this set of the simple stories let me come down simple stories simple vintage life in bloom for simple pages this is what it looks like but I'm going to go ahead and take this other piece of black out and do a nice little unboxer reel and that will be that for this kit so while I'm taking this out guys as always I will have the links down below for the scrap room website for the Facebook group and the blog. So you will have, you know, the where to look for everything. And clearly if you're watching this, you're on YouTube. So we have that as well. All right, so I've got this gorgeous orchid little butterfly or mothy bit, a cute little heart, another one, but this one's more towards the aquatones a big title word that reads beautiful. See, ooh, this one is like way more into the teal tones, 
moments and they're all stacked up. I mean, they totally look like they're layered up and dimensional for you. I've got a cute little punch out heart and a nice, like really like word, saturated pink captured. Ooh, look at these florals. Oh, <gasps> so pretty. Oh my gosh. Which way do they go? I Oh, maybe like that. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Absolutely gorgeous floral cluster. Oh, a nice little orchidy heart. The word adore with these typewriter keys. A nice little butterfly. Moth thingy. A ticket. Let's see. Ticket and four, four, five, four. And there's little butterflies, like it's tone on tone. Super cute. Oh, I have got a nice deeper green heart. And let's see. Oh, look at this camera. We've got a stacked up camera with all kinds of goodies behind it. Super gorgeous artwork. I've got another amazing set of florals. If I had that bouquet, I don't even know. Guys, it's perfect. And I've got a little orange heart and then this banner piece. And there's even like little cute staple marks all the way across. Phew. So that is all of the kits. I hope you like all of these goodies. Oh my gosh, it was so fun to unbox them because they are everything. I love kit days. Kit days make this girl so incredibly happy, guys. So like I said, all the links are down below. Um, guys, you know, I think you know, I mean, with the scrap room, we have lots of challenges that always go on. We have a subscriber cut file, which is an exclusive. And it reads, this time it reads, life is so sweet and there's a piece of cake. It's really cute. We have got a sketch um, that JQ Crafty created. That's super fun. There is a Freaky Fast Friday formula. There's throwback sketch. There is like like stash challenge stuff. So there's all kinds of stuff to find and do and play along with. So I'll see you guys in the Facebook group. I'm gonna get creating with all my goodies and I'll see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now.